Why are we rolling? Shalom. Back another day out here on the streets of Columbus, Ohio. All praises to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. You know what I'm saying? Wow. We see, we got the freaks are coming out today. See, we should bust these signs out. They probably blow away. Yeah. And the mark of the beast. That's the most important thing we're dealing with, right? Let's go straight to the mark of the beast. Yeah, that, that's for the time of red, man. Because. That, that's what's about to pop, go off is soon the government is going to start microchipping people. There's already thousands, of, if not millions of people microchipped already. Because soon if you want to buy or sell anything, you have to have a microchip implanted in your hand or in your brain. You, you can get on Google and Google, Google brain microchips. The CEO of PayPal said in the future you're going to have to have a brain microchip to use PayPal. So if you want to buy anything on eBay or whatever, you're going to have to have that microchip. All the, all, all the transactions are digital anyway. Like you can't shop on Amazon with cash. It's got to be all digital payments. So soon everything's going to be all digital. If you want to get EBT, if you want to get food stamps, you're going to have to have the microchip. If you want to get on the Coda bus, you're going to have to have the microchip. And that's what's coming. This ain't no game. What else they mentioned? They mentioned also you want to Yeah, you want to, yeah, log on to the internet, period. You got to have a microchip. And the scriptures say that if you take that chip, you take that mark of the beast, that's the end of you right there. Okay, you still sealed your fate. You're automatically condemned. And there's no forgiveness for that. Yeah, let's get the scripture. Your car. Yeah, you can't. Yeah, you ain't gonna be able to start the car without the microchip. Shooting your gun. Yep. All, they got smart guns now that won't even work without the chip. Right. You know they gonna bring in more gun controls now. There's that shooting down at that uh, baggage bar down in uh, Orlando. You know the government. You know they got the little Islamic terrorists they set up to go shoot up the bar. But now they gonna make speaking out against homosexuals hate speech. So, sooner or later, they're gonna come after everybody's guns. So, you know what I mean? Man, they're gonna write you a fucking ticket, man. That's what it's all about. It's all about money to get all your money. So, Revelation 13 and 16. It causes all, both small and great, rich and poor, to free and bond, to receive a mark in the right hand or in the forehead, that no man might buy or sell. Microchip the mark of the beast, you will not get EBT. Okay, they go, you will get cut off. And they gonna gladly take that mark of the beast just so they can feed their children. Okay, because most of these people are weak. They're weak minded. Most people are weak minded. They don't have a, a strong spirit. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You guys are my favorite Sundays. Why are you always out here, man? Oh, what? Oh, for real. Chipotle. Come down. Yeah, we're going to try. I'm not going to ask how this is. I never really liked Chipotle. Man, I don't know. They put rice in there. Well, this is the best thing to sound right now. They don't get rice in there. This is weird. But you know about the market of beast? Yeah. So you're going to take it? 
take that microchip from the time code? It's stupid. It's stupid? You know they cause cancer too so hard. Did he never go to the state? Well, sir, I mean, that's a reality, though. You see, we're already in the future. Yeah. Everybody got smart. It's all about technology, you know? You guys have any special plans for next weekend? It's Friday. What was that? It's Friday, I was wondering. What are you talking about? For what? Because next weekend's Friday. You're talking about that. Oh, yeah. Hey, yeah, homosexual yeah. shit? Yeah. We ain't, we ain't going around nowhere near these factors. Anyway, I 
I got that uh, in Jordan. Oh, yeah, bring it out. All right, so you're not Christians. Well, but what are, you guys are reading the yeah. 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 Right. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. 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 Yeah, you gotta study. So you gotta be, you gotta learn the original languages the Bible was written in, like Hebrew and Greek, you know? So you can't translate it. Study the Hebrew and Greek. Because you can't, you can't perfectly translate anything from one language to another. Some always get lost. Right. Listen to this. This is Revelation 1 and 3. Blessed is he that readeth, and they that hear the words of this Prophecy, and keep those things which are written therein, for the time is at hand. Now I said the time is at hand. What time is that? I gotta go. You gotta go. You gotta go nowhere. You gotta go nowhere. Bus is gonna get you. I know, but I gotta get home. <laughs> the time is at hand. It's really interrupting us when we talk about the market of beans. Let's go back to it. Well, we're on it. That's true. The time is at hand. Oh, yeah, the time Blessed is at hand. You can read it. You, you, you read these prophecies, you see that the mark of the beast is in the scriptures. And at the end of the verse, it says the time is at hand. The time. What it's, time are we talking about? And you got to end time. And that's why you got to get out here. You got to warn the people. It, this is coming sooner than y'all think. Like there was a report on NBC News uh, that just came out in the NBC News. They said that your children will be microchipped. And they said sooner than you think. And I heard the vibration when he said it, and it meant to. They, they, they were like, man, like a man. That's right. They That's said wrong. they will. Both small and great will receive the mark. That means all, even for the royal families, they probably the first ones to get chipped. It said both small and great will be chipped. The senators going to get it. Now, you ain't going to be able to be a senator without the chip. You know what I mean? That's going to be one of the requirements. Rich and poor. Rich and poor. Free and bond. Right. See? This is beautiful, man. It, really, it, it is coming, man. That microchip is coming. It's only through the faith of the Lord that the real, the real man ain't gonna get the chip, you know? Shit, we're gonna withstand that, 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 that fire, you know, that time. We're gonna, we're gonna, what's the word about what we're gonna, we're gonna be able to deal with? It, you know, we're gonna bunker in. You know, we're gonna get ready. We're already ready. We're already spiritually we ready. We're in the trench. You know, that's why I was looking for you know the trench. I mean? The trench. We're in the <laughs> trench, bro. It's like trench warfare out here. So you gotta dig your little foxhole, you gotta take your position, yeah. and stand firm. <laughs> Hey, I got, um, you got something? I got something. Oh, okay. I see it. Come on, hold your side. Hold your side. Every day is a new story. Oh, yeah, they just, uh, was in Westerville schools. Well, they didn't implement a microchip just yet, but to pay for school lunches, they use them biometrics. Using uh, fingerprints, you know what I mean? That's just a step closer to the chip. Yeah, my son's here, he's crossing, but he ain't still graduated now. Yeah. They, they were already done. Um, this is Isaiah 33 and 6. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times, and strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. So yeah, so the fear of the Lord is, that's, you know, that's a treasure. See that you get mad. Mad, mad. Yeah, mad. Now you get mad when it affects him. He took his crime. Oh right, exactly. You know, a nigga get out here and argue and be mad as fuck over his guns and But when it comes to homosexuality or adultery or you know, robbery, they let it go. Theft. As long as they don't bother me, they say. Like like that girl was just saying she came up with somebody they got a big bag of parade or something. You know? Oh, that's right. They have like two or three of them a year. 
Shit, they could stage another uh, terrorist attack during that parade. It'll be a blessing. You know what I'm saying? They could have a, uh, another uh, ISIS so-called terrorist come out. You don't know what could happen. Because they, they turn in the heat up now, bro. You see what, it, what just happened down in Orlando. Look, that's some faggot shit. Isaiah 33 and 6. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times, and strength and salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure, like what we're out here saying, you know? Wisdom and knowledge shall be what's going to stable you out, you know? From what you know, and reading these scriptures, it's stable in these scriptures. You're going to be, you know, you're going to have that rock foundation. Ain't nothing going to rock you. Or move you, you know? You're going to skip, 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 skip. But two thirds of people that are just shunning this, this knowledge now. No, an evil man hates knowledge. An evil man hates wisdom. So, instructions is what he ignores. He ignores instructions. And that's, a, that's actually scripture, I think, in Psalms, uh, when it says they hate of instructions. You know, I think it's the scripture talking about Esau, but it referred to as uh, his two thirds of Let me see if I can find it. That is a Proverbs 27. Is it a Proverbs? Oh, God. Oh, no, it's not Proverbs. No, I was thinking. It actually says instructions. I'll find it. Let me just search for it. I'll look it up. I got to do the search. The source. Yeah, because these people don't like being told what to do, man. Especially if they're doing, if they're, uh, they're doing the opposite. Damn, man. I don't need to correct you. Somebody like that. Hey, yo, man, come here, man. Come here for a second. I'm bro. good, man. I don't want to talk. I'm just respect. Right. I just say that. Yeah, you good, bro. I feel you, man. I feel you. This is the perfect place to vent. I mean, it don't to my fucking lungs. Right. Well, this is the perfect, perfect place to vent. You know? You got this. You got me smarter than that anyway. You know what I mean? Man, thank you. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Shit is not illegal. Illegal. Or illegal. Anyway, Isaiah 26 to 3. Now we'll keep them. Where the church is? The church is the church right here. We in church right now. This is the building. This is the building. You know what the church means? What the church means? I'm asking you a question. I understand. Where the church is located? Right here. Right here. This is it right here. This is it right here. The church needs to call out. Call out. You can't call out the sign of the building. So it's not a real church unless we're in a building, right? No, I didn't say that. Yeah, don't get, don't be offended. We just talk. We just I'm not talk. offended. Right. You just get I wanted some information. Just get a little attitude. And you know? apparently, don't, go you don't like the way I'm asking for you it. You can get some more information. You was being disrespectful. You can get some more information. You can't come up here disrespecting us like that. You know what I'm saying? How you doing, sweetie? You got some sense. What you Native American? Yeah, my grandpa's Cherokee. Oh. What you, what's your father? Oh, I was a crackhead. What? But your, uh, your father, your grandfather on what side? Your mom and your dad's side? But it uh, matters what your, your father's side is what matters. Yeah, you know, but you do look like it anyway. Yeah, you can tell. She got them jeans, those strong jeans. You know, she's an Israelite. Native Americans are Israelites. Yeah. You got yes. brothers? You got brothers? How old are you? No brother. How old is he? Oh, he's a, he's a, he's a, that's a man. It wasn't a, uh, that's a man. There's a book titled, uh, the American Indian, written by James and Deer. It was written in like 1775 or 76. But he had lived amongst, wasn't it the Cherokees he lived amongst? And he said, he lived with the Cherokees and he wrote a book saying that they were definitely 100% descended from the ancient Israelites spoken of in the Bible. And they even called God by his name, Yahweh. His name ain't Jesus. Yep. Yeah.
charge of millions and millions of people. And they come to your neighborhood and have people hate you, especially if they know your name. Because a lot of people pronounce your name wrong just for disrespect purposes, just to show you hate, you know? Gus coming through. Oh, hey, get get this sign. That's acting like a sale. Go ahead. I got this. Go ahead. You go. Go ahead. I'm just making sure that wind is pretty strong. Revelation 14 and 8. And there followed another angel. Saying Babylon. Now you know what Babylon is. In America is one of its uh, code names in the Bible, Babylon, which means the bow, confusion. That's why you see all these heathen nations coming in, those nasty ass African nations. You see a lot of Latin tribes here now that you didn't see 
15, 20 years ago, you know, in a, you know, with all these nations, even nations coming in, they're also bringing in their philosophies and forcing them on the people. So, confusion. Man, confusion. Babylon is fallen. It's fallen. Destroyed. America's been destroyed. That's what they just say. It's just playing out now. This is just the Lord playing their movie out. Babylon is fallen, is fallen. That great city, because she made all nations drink of the wine of the wrath of her fornication. And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast and his image and receive his mark in his forehead, it says in, right? In, it says in his forehead or in his hand. <laughs> the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of the Most High, Yahweh, but Yahweh which is poured out without victory into the cup of his indignation. And he shall be tormented with fire, and that fire is going to start to a thermal ICBM missile that is on its way to America. Yep. Satan got a missile, the biggest missile in the world is called Satan. Satan 2. Well, now it's Satan Part 2. Satan Part 2. Because they had the first one was called Satan. Yeah, they, they, they upgraded. Hey, hey, the beauty of that is these nuclear missiles go stealth. You know yeah. what that means? They go in. They, the radars that these the missile defense systems that they have can't see. They go stealth. They go invisible. So they don't see them coming. And plus that, on top of that, they ain't just stealth. They're maneuvering. They, they, they see something locked on on them, they change course. Yep. <laughs> this is madness. We in the age of technology, you know? <laughs> Hell yeah, oh yeah. Ain't that what Daniel said? Now it shall be increased. Yeah, now it shall be increased. Not just reference to the word, not just reckon in reference to the wisdom that we're bringing out, but the technology too. Yeah, you know, the word. You don't know about the RFID chip? All right, man. The RFID chip is on its way. Well, y'all got y'all one? You already got it. There you go, a lot of people are, you'd be surprised how many people's already got a chip. You go. They may already be doing it. I heard reports when you go to the hospital for surgery, people said that they put chips in them. There's reports of people going, go ahead. Oh no, go ahead. There's people, reports of people going to the dentist getting fillings, and they putting chips in them with the fillings. You know? Oh, This evil, I mean, look, pray to, you gotta pray in the name of Yahweh, the Hashem, Yahweh Shai, that he didn't. You know? You gotta pray to the heaven. Don't be praying to no damn Jesus. Because if you do start praying to Jesus, there's a chance that your child, you, your child, family will fall victim to it, you know? I mean, that name, that name is the key. Hey, let me get that script. Uh, Romans, uh. That name is the key. I'll get, you know where it's at, Romans. And look, Yahweh and Yahweh Shai is evil. That's not Greek, it's Hebrew. Here, you know? And the Lord spoke Hebrew. Lord I mean, oh, my mouth's will read it. You got it? That song. Let, let me let him get this real quick. See, it backs up what you were just saying. Okay, bro. Romans 10, 13. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord Ooh. shall be saved. So whoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. And we know, you know, through the Spirit that his name is Yahweh Shai. I mean, you know, what was that yesterday, this morning, when they were at the, uh, the, uh, the side of my club? Yeah. You bet they was calling on Jesus. I guarantee you, Jesus, help me, Jesus! It didn't save him, did it? That's right. That name has power. Jesus! Now, you know, I had a little personal experience in my life. I call the name of the Lord. He can save me from some, from some crazy stuff. Right, you know? Yeah, same here, same here. I bear witness, you know? But the name is what's important. It's, it's more important than, you know, the name itself is the beginning of wisdom. You're learning the fear of the Lord. Because the Lord will give you up to a... To Reprobate You know, and your reward will be any types of swords. Any types of sword. But here we go. This is uh this is Psalms 50 and 16. But unto the wicked the most high saith, What hast thou to do to declare my statutes, or that thou shouldest take my covenant in thy mouth, seeing thou hatest instructions? See, one of those instructions is to use the name of the Lord, not your name or what some pastor pork chop gave you to say, you know, because that's what he's broadcasting in his, his congregation, Jesus. Hey, Jesus you know, Christ. It's kind of obvious, all these preachers, they just in there to get people's money, right? Jesus Christ. They just like, what they, 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 yeah. That's right, that's what I'm saying. 
the churches. Yeah, the Bible. Yeah, yeah. The devil's in her in the churches. You know? The Acts, is that the seventh chapter? Yeah, Acts 724. Yeah, yeah. Acts 748. Yeah, something, yeah, like yeah. something like that. Something like that. You gotta do it. There's no way possible. Well, we like in a wind tunnel right here. Boy. Go ahead. Uh, no, it's just. It's like a valley right here. See this dude down there? They ain't teaching about the market beats. Get them on camera. Back up, back up, back up. You can see him right there in the purple. They don't teach about the microchip. They said the, the mark of the beast is an embargo. These clowns right there. See, they teach you the mark. They, they teach you the mark of the beast is sin. You know what I'm saying? So that they, these they're, they're 501c3 preachers set up by the government. The head of their church is a detective that works for the NYPD. So how you gonna tell me that's a man of the Lord working for the devil? He's an actual cop, an actual agent. You can't make that up, bro. Yeah, only most I could make that script. You know what I mean? So the Lord, they got they they done they earned their reward, bro. What you, what the scripture we read early by their words, thou shalt be justified and condemned. So so out of their own mouth they condemn themselves. He's standing at ease, bro. I think he's cool or something. Right, right, right. Hey, let's get that, uh, let's get back on that market. What was you reading? I was reading what the church is going to get in my Did you already read that whole scripture? Yeah. Okay. Let me go to the head. So, Mark of the Beast in Revelation 14. Did we already read that yet? All right, we're going to have to chop the head thing off. Revelation 24. I saw thrones, and they sat upon them, and I saw them. I saw the souls of them that were beheaded for the witness to be outshot and for the word of God, which, which had not worshipped the beast in his image, neither had received this mark upon their foreheads or in their hands, and they lived and reigned in Mashiach a thousand years. Beheaded. Guillotines. Read it again. Revelation 20 and 4. And I saw thrones, and they sat upon them, and judgment was given unto them. And I saw, and I saw the souls of them that were committed 
out here. Think we don't see you like the Lord don't see y'all. Well, yeah, that's right. That's right. That's right. That's Nathaniel's the detective. Their leader works for the NYPD. They go around talking about they helping the, the so-called black community. When that leader is a goddamn detective, locking his own people up. What the hell's wrong with you people? You can't make that. You're just talking about the Yeah, that's right. You're supposed to defend the gospel. You're supposed to defend the gospel. <laughs> that's all they're going to get. They're going to get some dumb assholes to get up in there. That's, that's what y'all congregation is, a bunch of bitches. You know what I mean? You get matter of fact that your spirit seen him. I, I, I praise the Lord though, you know, because the Lord, that's all through the spirit of the Lord. He got them bugged out, you know what I mean? They gonna get the chip, man. The most likely I'm gonna put in the spirit to get the chip. Cause they teach, we asked them, we said, what is the mark of the beast? They didn't answer, did they? Cause they teach that the mark of the beast is what, sin or an embargo. When the Lord came to, to forgive us of our sins. So that, how can the mark of the beast be sin that the Lord came to forgive us of our sins. In the Bible, the scripture he just read in Revelation, said there is no repentance for accepting the mark of the beast. <laughs> There's repentance all day for sin, eh? Yeah, that's right. Right now, they the, Lord, the Lord will forgive you for all manner of sin. Yeah. If you was an adulterer, the Lord will forgive you. If you was a murderer, the Lord will forgive you, okay? But there ain't no forgiveness for accepting that microchip. When you accept the mark of the beast, there is no forgiveness for that. Okay? You go ahead, go ahead. I just... Walking by, bro. That's a witness That's right? and a testimony. Just in purple devils wearing purple. They wear purple just like it said. The the, the, the beast that was wearing purple, decked in purple, costly array. Yep, 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 hey, let's yep, get that. Yep, let's yep, get that. Revelation yep, 17. Yep. Yeah, get that. I got the Isaiah 36 and 6. I'll go ahead, bring that out. That's good. Story. Okay. Lo, thou trusteth in the staff of this broken reed on Egypt. Whereon, if a man lean, it will go into his hand and pierce it. So is Pharaoh, king of Egypt, to all that trust in him. Because they trust, yeah, when you're working for the devil, working for the government, and all that, you trust in Egypt. Like America is spiritually known as Egypt. That's why you got a pyramid on the back of a dollar. Because the elites of this country, they worship all those ancient Egyptian gods and goddesses. What do you think the Washington Monument is? Washington Monument is what? An Egyptian obelisk representing Osiris's penis. And that's right there, right up in the capital. Okay? So y'all that trust in America, you trust in the Egypt. Y'all just like them wicked Israelites of old that, that came up by the Exodus with Moses and wanted to go back to Egypt. You know what I mean? After how most like fucked up the Egyptians that were witnessing that. They witnessed the chariots. The death angel. They, yeah, they witnessed the angel of death swooping through, killing all the firstborns. They seen the lower part of the sea 
And then they said they still wanted to go back to Egypt. That's our people today. Our people suffer from Stockholm Syndrome, okay? They love their oppressor more than they love their master. You know what I'm saying? They love, they love their oppressor more than they love the most high. Our people are stupid, stiff-necked, retarded, backwards people. Go ahead. Hey, let's get that I got some Oh, let's just get to the point. And this goes in what we talked about. Yeah, yeah. Revelation 17 1. They came one of the seven angels, which had the seven vows, and talked with me, saying unto me, Come hither, I will show unto thee the judgment of the great whore that sitteth upon many waters. The great whore that sitteth upon many waters is who? That's America. Is not America surrounded by many waters? Go ahead. Before the kings of the earth have committed fornication, and the inhabitants of the earth have been made drunk with the wine of fornication. Let me say something quick. And that's the same thing we're doing out here. We're telling people, come over here so we can tell you about this goddamn devil and what he's doing. You know? So we're those angels. The angels are our brothers anyway. Right. You know? We all one big family. They just happen to have cosmic powers, and we don't. Yeah, we don't get all this. We don't get all this. Yeah. Get they all. just happen to be gigantic beings What's up, bro? fuck everything up. This thing, if you see angels, legions of angels coming out of heaven. Coming out of heaven. They ready to tear shit up, man. That would be the most. That would make people shit their intestines out when they see that. They want to tear shit up. That's gonna be beautiful. Can you imagine they're gonna be screaming and shouting? As I said, the angels come down with the shout, the trumpet blast and all that. That's gonna be amazing. That's a That's a game. The scripture says that there was a cry that was never heard before. We pray for that day. Angels are in perfect order. Go ahead. Revelation, uh, Revelation 17 3. So he carried me away in the spirit into the wilderness, and I saw a woman sit upon a scarlet colored beast, full the names of blasphemy, having seven heads and ten horns. And now, you know, this is talking about America and NATO. You know, you know, America with their military alliances, NATO. That's, that's what you call the New World Order. That's the beast. That's the beast that's, that is in control of the earth right now. Just like that scripture said, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. Talking about Esau and his power structure. Verse 4. Four. And the woman was arrayed in purple, in scarlet color, and decked with gold, and precious stones and pearls. Because you know, purple is supposed to be the color of royalty. So that's why they mocked the Lord. When they crucified the Lord, they put a crown of thorns on him. Then they put a, 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 a purple a garment on him. Because that's what the, the color the Caesars and Kings wore. They was mocking him. Saying, oh, you're the king. Oh, here's your crown. And here's your robe of purple. But then you see these devils, the IUIC, what are they wearing? Purple. That's that proud spirit. That's that proud spirit. Just like the, the spirit of that whore. Because they in alliance with a whore. Because they're a whoremongers. And all the whoremongers got their part in the lake of fire. That's where they're going. They're going straight to the lake of fire. They all going to eat missiles. Unless they repent and come out of that madness, they're going to all eat missiles. They're going to die a, a gruesome death. Go ahead. Full of abomination of filthy. There's only somebody that's gonna wear purple. You know, that's that proud spirit. You know, there's all kind of filth and abominable shit going on in their minds. And all they do is spread filth. What does America do? Goes around the earth spreading number of filth. Spreading their filthy culture and their filthy music and their filthy movies and their filthy ideals. Democracy, Christianity, it's all filth. They have over a thousand fucking military bases in America. Exactly. I mean, Russia have two. Not many at all. One or two. But they, I think they opened another one. And they're in the, in the Baltic zone. But that's the big bad wolf, right? Exactly. That's the bad guy. Exactly. Exactly. Let me 
America can do no wrong in these people's eyes. And then you got that bullshit Memorial Day. Everybody be like, oh, I'm about RIP to all the fallen soldiers who bravely gave their lives for our freedoms. You mean they gave their lives to take away someone else's freedom is what they did. You gonna get she gonna get hit by a bus like we worried about her. A woman, a woman is stupid, bro. I mean, what you gonna do with a woman? A woman has had one purpose. And that's a man, to pleasure a man. You know what I'm saying? And the, the, and the book of Genesis said that she was created to help Adam, okay? To be a help meet. That's it. Go ahead. All right, bro. And upon her forehead was a name written, Mystery Babylon the Great. Mystery America. The mother of harlots and abominations of the earth. And I saw the woman drunk. Yeah, Mystery Babylon the Great, that goes into all that witchcraft too, like, because people like to laugh at the thought of the Illuminati, but the Illuminati's real. <laughs> Man, it's like we worried, bro. Cause you ain't like that witchcraft shit, bro. That's shit. Oh, yeah, these people, they love their witchcraft. They love their astrology. You meet a woman, first question she asks you, oh, what's your sign? Oh, we ain't compatible, baby. This ain't gonna work. You a Capricorn, I ain't messing with you. Job yeah. <laughs> These people are bugged out. They believe in anything but the Lord. A any fantasy, any little bullshit they believe in. Anything but the Bible. Which is our heritage. Okay? They, they, they want to accept everything but what is theirs. You know what I mean? Go ahead. I saw the woman drunk in the blood of the saints. With the blood of martyrs to be outshot. And when I saw her, I wondered if it was great in her expression. And the angel said unto me, Wherefore did this thou marvel? I will tell thee the mystery of the woman of the beast that care of her, which have the seven heads and ten horns. The beast that thou sawest was, it is not. It shall sit out from the bottomless pit. Yeah, that's going to all the different leaders, you know what I'm saying, of all the, all the NATO. Man, this shit, this is wind, man. And when, and when he cometh, he must continue a short space. And the beast that was, he is not. Even he is the eighth, and is of the seven, and goeth into perdition. And his ten horns which thou sawest are ten kings, which have received no kingdom as yet. We receive power as kings one hour with the beast. These have one mind and shall give their power and strength unto the beast. Yeah, because that one hour, that's a, you know, a uh, thousand years is one day for the, the eyes of the whole time. But the one hour is pretty much talking about how long they've been in power right now. It, it's about an end, bro. This Somebody sh broke it down that hour. Yeah. So the America's about to be totally destroyed. Okay, the whore. America is that whore. That's why they always talk about Lady Liberty. That's why they got uh, the symbol of America now is what? The Statue of Liberty. Okay, that's that great whore. America is the great whore spoken of in the Bible. What do you see out here? Number of whoredoms, number of filth, none of abominable, abominable acts, homosexuals everywhere, transgenders. You gotta play games. We play games like right when we came up. Is it a man or is it a woman? Well, you want, I bet $5. You know I mean? Let's see who's right. You know what I'm saying? Because you get confused. You can't tell people a man or a woman no more. Shit's just weird out here, man. Like like they got these uh, gay pride banners. Let me get that on camera. Is my camera still going? It's still going. Let me get this on camera real quick. Let me go down here. See if I can zoom in on that. Where'd it go? Oh, there it goes. Oh, I got it. I got see the, the See, this is gonna be. A, this is about to be a gay pride festival. See that banner right there? These are going up and down the street on every street downtown. 
There's hundreds of these banners strung out through downtown. And it's about homosexuals. And that means the government had to approve these banners going up. Now just imagine if we put uh, Bible banners up. There'd be an outcry. Be, that, that, they would be coming down quick, wouldn't they? They'd be like, oh, that's, that's hate speech. It's hate speech. You get fined for putting them up. But see, but, but the government, we, we got faggots, we got government sponsored faggotisms out here, bro. Huh? Yeah. I'll just stay right here for a minute because the camera's about to blow away. <laughs> what are you going to do though? All you can do is just pray the Lord destroys this place, man. Yeah. Just pray for that destruction. They know they ain't right. That gay pride, they gonna have that gay uh, pride march next week and bet it, it's gonna have a large turnout. It's gonna the whole damn city gonna be down here. And then, you know what I mean? Because last year we cursed it and it got rained out. Was it last year? Yeah, yeah, it was last year. So Lord willing, he rained that bitch out again. Hope, hope Lord willing, something bad will happen. Shit. You, you saw what ISIS did down in Florida. At that gay club. And the most high will rain down on shit, won't it? You, yeah. It's like on frogs falling out the sky, you know? Frogs. I see. Imagine yeah. that. Where was Spiders it? Spiders and shit. Spiders come out the air. Yeah. Snakes come out the air. That's, worms. You know, you know? It was in Norway. It was raining worms. It's crazy. You can look that up on YouTube. Yeah. Raining worms in Norway. Probably some cycle. I seen tornado videos with semi trucks flying in the air. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's like bad, man. You can do things in the most cleverest way, man, that you can never imagine. It's cleverest way. We're still talking about this sorry ass miracle, right? Okay, this is uh, Isaiah 47 and 1. Come down and sit in the dust, O virgin daughter of Babylon. Sit on the ground, there is no throne, O daughter of the Chaldeans. is leaving the motherfucking America anyway. And not just that, it's a whole lot of Edomites giving up their uh, their uh, citizenship. Get the fuck out of here. Let's see what's happening in this place, man. Besides, they got scared. They're hearing all this shit. All these race wars are possibly coming. There's going to be an insurrection possibly coming. People get the fuck out of here. Why do you think those refugees is leaving? And there's a problem with refugees all over the world. So they leave those parts of the world where they see wars coming, man. Same thing with America. It don't matter, these motherfuckers are leaving America from the destruction of the world. They don't need to get away from the world. So take the millstone and dry mill, uncover thy blocks, and make bare the legs. Uncover the thigh, and pass over the rivers. Thy nakedness shall be uncovered, yea, thy shame shall be seen. I will take vengeance, and I will not meet thee as a man. And as for our Redeemer, the Lord of hosts is his name, the Holy One of Israel. Sit thou silent, and get thee into darkness, O daughter of the child thee. For thou shalt no more be called the Lady of Kingdoms. That's the lady we're talking about. Yeah, we, we are here more about that. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, we, yeah, we are here warning people about that microchip. As soon as the government will start microchipping people. Yeah, they already started. As soon as, as, soon as it's going to be like required like that birth certificate, just like that uh, social security card.
They're gonna be lining up. Cause they gonna have chip and centers where they just go in there and you wait in line and everybody get their chips. I mean, this devil want to know every fucking thing you do. You can't just go, you got shit you want to sell that's in your home. You're going to make a few dollars from it. They want a piece of that, too. Oh, you know, look. I was some a, devils, man. I live out in Whitehall, right? And I went to this yard sale uh, of my neighborhood, and I was talking to the dude, and he said he had to get a permit just to have the yard sale. And I was like, man, that's fucked up. But then he said, you get, they said, you get... He told me you get two free yard sales a uh, year. If you want to get any more than two, you got to pay fifty dollars for each one. Yeah. See, that's where it you is. You can't make fifty dollars in a yard sale. That's where it is, man. That's where it is. And then the guy who comes and checks everybody's stuff is called the warden. Mm. What? It's called the warden. That's bad right there. That's and he will right check if you, if you don't have to prove you. you. That's just know that they can. Oh, uh, so they can track you. They can control you. But it's the, to them, uh, they want to they bully lock Instead of you just carrying your cell phone around. That's right. Right, that's right. But they want you to permanently get it. They, yeah. Well, actually, this is the Lord's plan. The Lord want, to, want those that are loyal to him and the ones that are loyal to the devil. Yeah. Okay, that's, that's, this is the Lord's plan. You know what I mean? It really is. So, you it's, know, they want everybody. They don't want just, like slavery, was the so-called Negroes. They want everybody as slaves now, man. They want complete control. 100%. Complete control. You know? Control. That's their vision of their new world order that they're gonna, you know, that they're gonna, they're gonna spring on us like the scripture says. He gonna come in like a flood, and when the, the, that flood is uh, is that those armies, NATO troops, uh, and whatever fucking troops that's gonna come here. Because there's always talk about North Korea. The Koreans gonna come and invade America. Russia's gonna come invade America. And that chip's gonna be worldwide. Yeah, so. they're gonna be yeah. worldwide. Like we said earlier, like a lot so of these people. Say no. You say no. He uh, might kill you. Man, you gotta pray to the Most High. Man, he can deliver you from it. Kill, hey, 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 jump over. Oh yes, no. Yeah, but when they get you in jail, they gonna chip you anyway. You know, cause they 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 know the. I've seen them do it in jail. I've been in jail enough times. I've seen them put this called a water bowl. They strap people down. You know, they pat they they put people down and it's called a water bowl. They strap you down. And you can't move nothing, man. I've seen them actually strap people down and push them down. I've seen it and push them down the stairs. Damn. This cops is brutal, man. All the, surf, the very certain fame motherfuckers that's out here that's supposed to be to serve and protect. Man, these some vicious people, man. Yeah. And it takes a vicious, it takes a special individual to be a peace police officer, man. Everybody knows the cops, they the number one drug dealer. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, uh, Revelation of Fear. You got, uh, they like, they like uh, to pull people over, take all your drugs. And they're like, I'm going to let you go. Okay, you know, then they keep everything you got so they don't have to write a report on it. Uh, and they're trying to check the, uh, the army guy, too. Oh, yeah, yeah the, the military is going to be the first to get chipped. They've already started that process. Check this out, officer. Check this out. It says, Revelation 2 and 10. Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer, because the devil shall cast some of you into prison, that ye may be tried, and ye shall have tribulation ten days. Be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life. Don't be fooled. Worry about going to jail, man. I mean, if you, you, I mean, the Lord wants those that's gonna stay strong to that very last split second, you know. And He wants you to go, you know. Some of us gonna go in jail, man. He want, and some of the ones of us that's gonna go in jail, that's His way of having you prove your loyalty. Yep. You know. I get that. Some, of, some of us, you know. You in uh, Revelation two get two and twenty six. It is a key scripture. Oh, shit. Uh, 226, right? Yeah. Yeah, because it's all about enduring to the end. It's pretty much all a test. The Lord is testing everybody. Yeah, yeah. They try, yeah. They try, yeah. Try, you got to try gold in the fire when you uh, melt down gold. You know what I'm saying? You got to melt all those impurities out of it before you can craft anything with it. Okay. All right, Doc. Two and twenty-six Revelation. He that overcometh and keepeth my works unto the end, to him will I give power over the nations. What's up, bro? You got your microchip yet? Working? Bro, you talking about we ain't got jobs last time we seen you? Oh, you got a microchip? What's the mark of the beast? He was talking shit. He was in that truck riding by. Remember, get a job. You, Joe. Now he's salty. Bro, 
Hey, his spirit looks so like his, his spirit looks dead. He looks He withered. He really did. He's that withered branch. Jew, Jew. Hey, God, get that scripture. Jew. No, well, yeah, Jude too. Yeah, Jude and John 15. <laughs> Tell you what the Lord gonna do with us with the branches. Man, we having so much fun, man. Timothy, teaching the word of the Lord is a joy. You know what I mean? And this is why I'm. A, this is the only time I get any kind of happiness, or you know, because this life is hell. Coming out here, just lift your spirits up, man. John 15. I'm sorry, one. I am the true vine, and my Father is the husband. Every branch in me that beareth not fruit, he taketh away, and every branch, branch that beareth fruit, he purged it, that it may bring forth more fruit. Now ye are clean through the word which I have spoken unto you. Abide in me, and I in you, as a branch cannot bear fruit of itself, except it abide in the vine. No more can ye, except ye abide in me. I am the vine, ye are the branches. He that abideth in me, and I in him, the same bringeth forth fruit, much fruit goes for me. Without me, ye can do nothing. Yeah, so without your house shot, we can't do nothing. We ain't out here on our own program. But stay focused. <laughs> <laughs> stay focused, right? Yeah, but we can't do nothing without your house shot, okay? We out here to do the will of your house shot and follow his commands. We're not following after our own hearts and on our own program, like IUIC. Um, if a man abide not in me, he is cast forth as a branch and is withered. <laughs> and men gather them and cast them into the fire, and they are burned. And that's what you do. You want to burn a fire pit? Yeah, so that your boy to walk by, he's one of them withered branches. And the Lord going to burn him up. When those missiles hit, I pray to the Most High that he eats missiles. You know what I'm saying? That he ain't going to repent. You can tell. I mean, he gone. We done seen that dude so many times. He was making fun of us, saying that we needed jobs. Now he, he look like he homeless now, bro. Hi. Can't escape. He gonna block you now. Shit, he probably can't get on Facebook. Uh, I first met him. I think I thought he was homeless. It's like teaching him. Uh, Luke 7. Just as Jude uh, 11. Woe unto them, for they have gone in the way of Cain and ran greedily after the poor error of the land for reward and perished in the gang scene of four. These are spots in your feasts of charity when they feast with you, feeding themselves without fear. Clouds they are without water. Yeah, your boy had no water. He looked all dried up, didn't he? That's right. Carried about of winds. Trees whose fruit withered. Yeah, he just blowing in the wind like a tumbleweed yeah, all through a ghost town. Yeah. <laughs> That's your boy right there. Trees whose fruit withered without fruit. Twice dead. Plucked up like a Twice dead. Your boy twice dead. What's up, bro? Huh? Got They don't want to follow the commandments. They want to keep eating pork. It all comes down to when a woman's fitness, they usually are out of shape because of, they eat pork. You know what I mean? That is all people. You're supposed to cut that pork out your diet. How's your boy? What's up, Tito? Funkenstein? Ah, oh, shit. That's Tito Funkenstein. Hey, he looks like LeBron James. He said he only smokes crack on the weekend. I mean, on the weekend. So. He's taking it easy. Right. What's up? So, What's up? the sea foaming out their own shame, wandering stars to whom is reserved the blackness of darkness for them.
Every tree that bringeth not forth good fruit is hewn down and cast into the fire. Wherefore, by their fruits ye shall know them. Yeah, so you know people by their fruits. Just like your boy Nathaniel uh, with the IUIC. They ain't bringing forth no good fruit. He's teaching in the market of beast is an embargo that is sin or whatever. And then look what kind of fruit he brought for a dude that's scared to even talk to you. They walking around with a they walking around with a weak spirit. You see how weak their spirits look? Because you ain't gonna talk 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 to me. I'm gonna answer you. you they was just me. walking by and you turn their heads. They were scared to death that we were gonna say something. They knew we was gonna say something. Because they got that weak spirit. Okay, the man of the Lord ain't supposed to have no weak spirit. Walk around all scared and timid. There's a spirit of boldness. Yeah, boldness is a lion. We're gonna say we're gonna we're gonna uh, defend the gospel, okay? But all boldness.